I need to resupply a little bit. I just need to evaluate what I have. I really was stupid when I started the trail. I was carrying way too much food. So I'm gonna see what I have, see what I need, and then we'll go, uh, go do some shopping. Ugh, I made the mistake of having that fan on me all night, so I've got sexy morning voice. <laughs> I need to I, I need to resupply a little bit. I just need to evaluate what I have. I really was stupid when I started the trail. I was carrying way too much food, like way too much. So I just want to look at what I've got. I need to check the Far Out app and see how much food I need until my next resupply. Um, and that's something I do before I get out of Dodge. Uh, the campground has a little general store and they've got some like backpacking food and stuff. <coughs> um, so, I'm gonna see what I have, see what I need, and then we'll go, uh, go do some shopping once they open in 45 minutes. Mesh taters. Beans. Soy curls. I have lots of stuff for rice and beans. So lots of trash. My spoon, and look. My toothbrush is on the end. It like, it's a toothbrush that attaches to these kind of backpacking spins that have that whole thing. Pretty clever. If you ask me, you didn't, but... Alright, lots of tailwind. That's the shit. That got me through the desert. If you don't know tailwind, these are the individual ones. It's used by ultra runners. It's, um... It's not only electrolytes. In fact, I would say that might even be the secondary thing it is. It's like nutrition. Um, liquid nutrition. One of these has 200 calories. So when you are doing endurance uh, sports and you just need carbs, this stuff. There's an unflavored one that truly is unflavored. Um, all the flavors are good. The cola one's interesting and good. I like it uh, a lot. Um, there's cola, tropical, there's raspberry, berry. Um, oh, and I forgot about these. So I haven't tried these yet. These are the recovery mixes. And this one is salted caramel. There's also a chocolate one. And uh, apparently, <coughs> this is meant for like afterward for recovery. Um, it has a little, a few more calories, um, but these are all sweet. And apparently if you uh, warm them up, they're very like uh, hot chocolate-ish, where they give that vibe, that camp. Okay, I maybe have, I'm carrying too many, <laughs> carrying too many tailwinds, but it's good stuff and it's small and it like, I really can't emphasize how many times it has saved my freaking butt. <laughs> <laughs> when I was about to bonk. You know, it turned out all I needed. Oh, good God. So I'm sure this is always going to happen, but there's like kiss kiss and coffee grounds. This, yeah, this housekeeping is going to have to happen often. Mmm. This is taco seasoning. So this is like a little DIY meal. I got this from Jupiter Hikes. It's just refried beans, rice. Uh, and then this is um, the Fodi taco seasoning. Fodi is a brand that makes like gut friendly uh, things, um, sauces, uh, they have a great um, uh, salsa that's so good and it's all, um, it's all meant for, um, you know, we girlies and boys who, what is on this, who, you know, have troubles with our tum-tums, you know, <laughs> and we need, uh, we need something gentle. So anyway, that's the Fodi Taco seasoning. Taco seasoning. Oh, I haven't. This is more tailwind. I haven't tried the matcha yet. And then, okay, a honey stinger. 
Okay. Oh, lordy, lordy. This is a mess. Ugh. Okay, I've got to clean this out. Oh, and then this. You know what this is? Well, I'm going to make some. So I'm going to tell you in just a second. But, spoiler, it's a straw for coffee. Um, it's not like the most novel idea. They've used these in other places, like in Argentina, they have these for their mate. They just pour their tea leaves and the water in a cup, and then they drink it with this. So then they don't have to, like, uh, you know, like steep it and strain it or anything. Um, but this is super light, and it's great on the trail. Um, so I'm going to make some of that. So I'll show you how it works. It's pretty obvious how it works, but yeah, I'm going to clean this and be back. Hello! Hey, if you are sitting there thinking, oh, I want to travel more, I want to go on more adventures, come with me! I host trips around the world. We've been hiking in Patagonia, we went looking for the Northern Lights in Iceland, trekking in Nepal, camping in Banff, Canada, in the Canadian Rockies. Uh, we do it all, and we have a real, real good time. <laughs> Everyone's welcome, and all the details for any current trips, just click that little bubble up in the top corner or uh, go to my website jjb.life backslash travel uh, and we almost always make at least one group cringy TikTok. So come hang out with us. We're a real good time. Okay, so I just boiled water and well, where I go? I put the grounds in. Alright. No, they're in there. Okay, and now, um, oh, well, so this has, uh, it comes with a, uh, <laughs> speak, Jeffrey, <laughs> comes with a cleaner brush thingy, uh, and I store it inside it, which I know is a little tricky, um, but as long as I have my knife, I can take it out. Now, if you're just going on a weekend trip or something, you totally don't need, you don't, you don't need to take the cleaning brush with you. But just since I'm going to be out for so long, um, so just that that's what I'm doing right now. You don't, this is not part of the process. There it is. It's just a normal, like, you know, if you've ever bought a reusable straw or anything. Um, so, you know, here's, so it's just, see, it's this little filter and here's the straw. It just screws right on there. And so then anything you suck up in the straw, um, it's, it's just liquid. You can also use it for tea. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna let this chill and brew for a few minutes. Um, you know, I mean, I it, this is called a Jogo, I think. I got it from Garage Grown, grown Gear. Um, Garage Grown Gear, if you don't know Garage Grown Gear, it's a, I can't say it, but it's a, um, it's a really cool website with uh, like ultralight backpacking gear and a lot of like fun little gadgets that you didn't know existed. Um, I'll put the, the the link for this will be in my my gear list. Um, but it's not like pretty handy. Um, and I might switch to tea at some point. I don't know. I mean the you know the one downside is it stays in the coffee, so you need to like the ground stay the ground stay in the water. So you want to drink it, you know. You don't have to hurry, but you want to drink it because um, it's going to start to get like you know stronger and more bitter. Um, but I think that is a very small price to pay for this light of a convenience. Like this coffee is such a problem in the backcountry for coffee people, and we found a solution, or somebody did. I was had no part in it. All right, I am leaving. Leaving the campground. Um, I'm gonna go to the general store. Let's see if anyone. I don't know if there's a trail angel today, like yesterday, doing rides. If so, <clears throat> hoping someone will take me to the trail. If not, it's like five miles. That's pretty hot. So, it's, uh, it's 1.40. Um, it's a little early to be starting. I mean, I'm Quite yet. I'll probably just chill for a little bit, charge my phone, see if anybody's headed that way. And if like three o'clock rolls around and nobody is going that way, I'll just start walking. 
it's five miles and we're walking 2,650. It's not that much. Okay. We are back on trail. Almost. Uh, I um, was just hanging out outside the, uh, the, the general store, as I say, the Stagecoach RV um, parking campground. And uh, I was just chilling out there. You get a free scoop of ice cream <laughs> if you're a PCT hiker and you stay there. Um, and so uh, I got my scoop of ice cream. I sat outside on the patio on a picnic table for, I don't know, four minutes and ate it. And a car pulled up with a bunch of hikers. Uh, it wasn't a trail angel, it was actually a girl who is, uh, she's in college, but she's getting ready to start the trail on May 11th. Uh, and so she just came out to meet some hikers, see how this works, uh, see the trail. She was going to go uh, hike a different section today. Um, and so, Yeah, so she gave me a ride. So, you know, that's what I mean by hitchhiking is not as shady as it sounds. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a part of this. Not that you shouldn't be careful. Not that there aren't people who have bad experiences. There are definitely things you should do to make sure that you're safe about it. But it's very different than just sticking your thumb out on the side of the road in most other parts of the country. I need to focus on the trail. I'm probably going a little too fast. It's hot. It's a little probably too early for me to be starting, but uh, I want to go. So I'm just going to take it easy. I've got plenty of water. My bag is so heavy, but I've got 15 miles of that water. So that's what we got to do. There's another guy at the trail who came from Julian from the other direction. So the trail angel or somebody gave him a ride as well. Um, he decided to stay. There's an overpass there that's uh, really great for napping underneath, apparently. And he uh, he was going to take a nap and wait for it to cool off a little bit more. But there we are. Back on the PCT. Let's go. Want to watch another video? Click here. Want to learn more about my upcoming trips? Click here. Want to subscribe and like all my videos and turn those bell notifications on?